You are blessed and highly favored. Amen. We're going to do a little teaching on the kind of offering that is mentioned in the book of Hebrews. Uh, Hebrews chapter 13. We look at verse 15. The offering that is mentioned there. I mean, sacrifice that is mentioned there. And the title is going to be sacrifice of praise. Sacrifice of what? Of praise. What's the topic? Sacrifice of praise. What's the topic again? Sacrifice of praise. Again, sacrifice of praise. Uh, by the way, we thank God for all testimonies. Amen? And we'll cover them once more with the blood of Jesus. Nothing will reverse them. In Jesus' name. Those of you in the house, and you carrying babies in your womb, we are praying for you. By faith, just move ahead. Whatever, if you, if you see any trash dream, trash it. It's just your portion for your enemy. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Just believe God that you shall have, you shall live, and your babies too shall what? Shall sure. live. And those who are believing God for babies, for children, God will bless you this month. Except so that we may not see the evidence this month, but maybe when are we going to see the evidence? Um, March, April. Okay, I'm just joking. Praise the Lord. It shall be so in the name of Jesus. Let's shout amen for them. Amen. Well, those who are expecting our husband to join us from Nigeria, wherever they're in Africa, God will make a way for you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. May God perfect all our consensus in Jesus' name. We say sacrifice of what? Sacrifice of praise. Can we read verse 15 of Hebrews uh, chapter 13 together? Therefore, okay, by him let us continually offer the sacrifice of praise to God. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. Verse, uh, okay, let's, 16. But do not forget to do good and to, sh and to share. For with us sacrifices, God is well pleased. Amen? With such sacrifices, God is what? Well pleased. Uh, our Father, we want to say thank you for everyone that is here who defied the, the, the weather and they, they, they decided to be in your presence to so thank you. And as we prepare the ground for thanksgiving, Lord, we pray for the world. Pray for revelation in the name of Jesus. Let there be divine illumination to the glory of your name. And maybe not just be teaching, let it be back up with the anointing. Because it is the spirit that quickens. For Jesus Christ, our Lord, we have prayed. Amen. So, so by him, we should offer what? We should offer... A sacrifice of praise. Who is that him there? Of course, by Christ. Amen? We should do what? Offer the sacrifice of praise. Today, as we rejoice, as we thank God, let us do it through Christ. And I pray that our praises will not be in vain. When we Lord, may not accept them in the name of Jesus. And generally, sacrifice can be described as something that is given away. Or somebody giving himself or property away. Uh, usually, in the setting of sacrifice, you sacrifice to a, di a deity. But this time around, sacrifice to a God Almighty. You sacrifice to a supernatural power, either to appease or to get a blessing or something like that. But usually, sacrifice are tied to what? To sac a supernatural. And this time around, our supernatural is supernatural, almighty God. Amen. So we are talking of sacrifice of praise to who? The supernatural and the almighty, almighty, the supreme God. Amen. Where sacrifice also involves, like we said, giving up away of ourselves, of what? Of our materials. We're giving away of ourselves, of what? Of our materials for the benefits or advantage of others. It's sacrificial because we get disadvantaged while others get comfort. Amen? 
Praise the Lord. If you, if you have, uh, if you have uh, one car and you give it away, that's much more a sacrifice. So well, by the grace of God, I'm sowing this car to somebody's life. I believe God what? will give me another one. That is what? A big sacrifice. That is sacrificial. Praise the Lord. If for some reasons you, you are training your children into school and you go and bring other people's children to join your own children, to train them, which means extra money for you to do some extra things. You are using them to what? To help other children go forth in life. That is a kind of what? A sacrifice. Praise the Lord. That's also sacrificial. Amen. Things we deny ourselves to make others have comfort or to receive some benefits. And I pray that we shall live a sacrificial life. Say a big amen. amen. Because every sacrifice carries a reward. And the, the bigger the sacrifice, the bigger what? The reward. Amen. Amen. We have some examples of those who sacrificed, who gave sacrifices to God. These are generalized. Generally, they just we mention some names and we'll move ahead. We have examples. Solomon offered what? A thousand bought offering. The other place, at the time he was dedicating the temple, he gave in thousands. When he was starting, he gave 1,000. Amen? But as he progresses in his ministry, and he was able to build the temple for God, I think it's 25, 22,000, another, another 5,000 somewhere. So he, give, he gave all, all those things. He built the house for God, then before building his own how then as dedication he, he, he offered thousands. But initially, what did he do? He gave a thousand bond offering. Amen. We're not talking of one hundred. How many? And nobody had ever done that before. I pray that he will be our example in Jesus' name. So that when God asks you to move, asks you to move, when it comes to sacrifice, you have to push yourself. Amen. You have to go out of the ordinary. Push yourself uh, to the realm of discomfort. Amen. And by the time the blessings are coming, God himself will push himself out of the ordinary and he will bless us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Solomon gave a thousand. So, just one example. Abraham offered Isaac. Uh, he's called the only son because that is the son of covenant. The son by whom others are going to be blessed. Generations yet unborn. And yet he chose to offer uh, his only son, the son of covenant, as Genesis chapter 22, verse 2a. So Abraham offered what? His Isaac. And I pray that God will help us to offer our Isaac too in Jesus' name. That is something that is very precious to us. We can also offer it to God or spare it to others to have some comfort. Uh, in Romans chapter 12, verse 1, there's another kind of offering or sacrifice that God is asking for. That we should present in of our bodies as what? As a living sacrifice. So we ourselves can be a living. We're not sparing anything to anybody. But we are living a dedicated life. A life that glorifies God. Amen? That is you come. You don't want to be an ordinary Christian. But a Christian. A special species. Somebody that is unique in the Lord. That God himself will say, ah, ah, like Job, that is my daughter, that is my son. We can live such a life that is what? Sacrificial with our bodies, that is a physical body. So present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God. Romans chapter 12, verse 1. By the time we endeavor and we do everything, we deny ourselves to be a holy child of God, that is also what? Called what? Self-sacrifice. Amen. Remember Solomon gave what? An offering, a thousand offering. He gave material things. Abraham gave what? Gave a human being. Amen. But we can now go on to give what? Give ourselves. Is that clear? We can give ourselves. I'm talking of sacrifice. Generally. Well, we also saw another level of sacrifice where Jesus offered himself to be killed so that you and I might live. Amen? That's another level of what? Of sacrifice. Uh, if you look at 1 John chapter 3, verse 16, 
First John chapter 3, verse 16. We can read that together. First John 3, 16. Say, uh, hereby perceive we the love what? of God. Because he what? He laid down his life for us. Amen? And we ought to what? For all of it. So that's what we are talking about. Those are sacrifices. Somebody laid down his life for others. Not property, not his own child, not somebody else, his own life. Now, we, are so, we can also do all sacrifice by living a pure life, a holy life, a reliable life that God himself will say, ah, ah, this is my daughter. And everybody around you will know that this is really a child of God. Not for sure. Uh, not hypocrisy, but they can see through your life that this is really a child of God, a man of God, a woman of God. I pray we shall live that life in the name of Jesus. Then Abraham offered his own child. God said, look, go to that mountain, offer, and he did accept, and he offered his son. Then Solomon offered material blessings, like Abel, and Cain and Abel. They were asked to go and sacrifice something, to offer something to God. Solomon offered what? But today we are talking about what? Sacrifice of a type. Sacrifice of praise. Amen. He said, therefore by him, let us continually offer what? The sacrifice of praise to God. So today we are talking about what? Sacrifice of praise. What are we talking about? Sacrifice of praise. Sacrifice of praise. Now how do we make this sacrifice of praise? How do we sacrifice praise? How do we make the sacrifice of praise? From where we have read, of course, we can just garner some things, one or two, three, four points, and we move ahead. Uh, it involves the use of our lips, amen? Um, and our mouth to sing God's praises. And that's why we are here this morning, to declare God's goodness, to honor him, to allow him, to declare that God is good, God is wonderful, God is awesome. Then we can convert it to singing or just declare it like that. But it has to come, it has to be the fruit of our lips. The fruit of what? Oh, our mouth. God wants to hear us declare some good things about him. And I pray that we shall have that confidence to declare God's goodness. Even while we are going through challenges, it does not nullify that desire of God. It's a desire of God. Jesus said God is searching all over the world, including here in America, in this church, uh, those who are going to be true worshippers. And in a kind, to be, to be a true worshipper is when you worship God, even when you are expecting something from him. Amen. Praise the Lord. Or you take time to thank him for even small blessings of sleeping or and waking up, that we can move our limbs and all of that. Have you woken up and you, are, you want to speak and your voice is making crack, crack, crack? Have you done that before? And you say, ah, what is happening? My voice is going to sizzle. It, it's, it's not, God is telling you that you are not praising me enough. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's a signal that you are not very appreciative. And it just put some color, color somewhere. So when your voice was coming out, it branched off somewhere here. Something was blocking it. That's all we are hearing it. Amen. And when you clear your truth, the, the voice will clear. Amen. Uh, somebody may say, they have attacked me from village. Oh, they've come to take my voice. Said, I will not sing again. No, it's not. Praise the Lord. God is trying to teach you what? A lesson. That you are not praising me what? Enough. Amen. Well, we said we should use our voice to give thanks to the Lord um, and all of that. So at this level of thanksgiving, because it's a, it's a sacrifice, amen, motive is not enough. Uh, yes, it's good to have a good motive. Praise the Lord. It's a practical verbal thing that God is looking for. Like in uh, Revelation chapter 4. Oh God, you are good. Oh, you are wonderful. You are awesome. No, it's, God doesn't want to hear that I'm thinking about it. Uh, supposition, presumption doesn't work at this level of sacrifice. Amen? See, something should carry out from deep within you and throw it at the feet of God. Amen? Say, oh, you are wonderful. Not I'm thinking of it, you are wonderful. So, supposition... The presumption does not work at this level of sacrifice. You must give it out. Tell yourself, I'm going to give it out to God through worship and all of that. So, it's a, a melody in the heart will not be sufficient, though it is good. You know, so you always wake up in the morning and something is 
uh, ruminating. You are just worshiping God in your mind, in your soul. You are just singing. No, no, that is not enough in the offering of sacrifice. It must come out of what? The fruit of where? Not the fruit of your heart, but the fruit of what? Of your lips. Amen. So today when we say praise God, don't be murmuring. No, we won't want to hear you say things about him. He said, God that fills the presence. In fact, the Bible says he inhabits what? The praise of his people. Amen? And I pray God will help us in Jesus' name. How do we make this sacrifice? We say that, that we should, it should come out of our mouth. Of course, we, we know that uh, when God gives an instruction, it is, is, at times it's not, it's not exclusive, it's inclusive of other things. Amen? So even as we are offering these lips, uh, 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 praises to God, we, we, it, it, we can make it a little bit comprehensive. Amen? Praise the Lord. We can make it what? Comprehensive. Since we still have our arms we can dance, we can, we can sing, we can, we can do all of that, so we, we, and all of that. But more importantly, it should be comprehensive inside. It should involve everything within us, inside what? And our outside. It involves our thoughts, our emotion, our, our consecration. At that time, we're not thinking of how we did it pass exam, how we passed it. Or how we almost fell when we are driving to the church today into a ditch. No, no. You forget about yourself. Then you release your mind and you release your thoughts and you focus on God Almighty. Praise the Lord. So we, we speak good about God, but we make it comprehensive by everything that is within us, our thoughts. Everything. We just concentrate on God only at that. I remember it's a sacrifice we are offering to God. And it must be consecrated, it must be bountiful, it must be what? It must be big. If you look at Psalm 103, verse 1 to 4, what is it? Sammy said, he said, bless the Lord, oh, what? My soul. That is inclusive. Your intense style, everything, your hand is also part of the, the, your body and everything combined. Bless the Lord, oh, my soul. And what? And forget not all his benefits. Amen. So our mind, should, we should remember what God has done for us. If you, have, if you think God has not done anything for you, then you are not very thoughtful. Amen? Because to move your hand, you can wake up in the morning and the hand is not moving anymore. There's no, you can't sue God. Amen? Oh, sure. There's no cut. You can't take him to anywhere. Praise the Lord. And I pray God will help us in the name of Jesus. Ability to eat, to go to school, to drive around. You should remember where you live. Ah, you think it's ordinary? Huh? It's not ordinary. I mean, when something strikes this head, hit it very well, and there's this, this, this location, then you will not remember. You will remember your name. Praise the Lord. Remember those who go through therapy? You see, teach them how to say A, B, C. Even the Congress, the woman, the woman that was shot. Uh, how to walk. You have to learn how to what? How to walk. And I say, take this leg first, like a baby. That will not be a portion. <laughs> so if you can walk, you can talk, you can move your limbs, you can go to work. They call you, 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 you had your name. Uh, you're not answering to strangers in the spirit. You say, eh, eh. Amen. They say, ah, they have called this one from the village. That should not be a portion. In the name of Jesus. So let's appreciate God for everything we are enjoying. Amen? Sleeping, waking, eating, everything, breathing is the Lord's doing. We can't, we, can't, we can't wake ourselves up when we sleep. It's God that makes us to wake up. So let's have that at the back of our mind. And let's move on in that light and appreciate him very well. Hallelujah. So our thanksgiving should be very comprehensive. Everything within us. And then, of course, everything within us will also mean that uh, musical instruments. Remember that just accompaniment to your initial instrument. Your initial instrument is what? Your mouth. Amen? Praise the Lord. Now, if, for example, somebody has, you, you have a hand in Jesus' name. Somebody has no hand and no leg. 
He still has something to offer. Is that what you are, is that what you are saying? Is that not? The, the fruit of, you, of where is what is in the mouth. That thing you say from God. That is what God wants to hear from you. So we should make use of every available instrument. And I pray that today we shall use our hands, our legs, to declare the goodness of God and the instrument. So, so that's why you may have to come with your tambourine. Amen? It's an instrument. Or just go to one of the musical shops and buy something that can use to praise God. Because God's praises must be comprehensive. Amen? And must be robust. Whatever you can play, go ahead and begin to play. You think I just play God for nothing? Amen? I'm using to sacri- I worship my God. Amen? Come on, say, which pastor, pastor is this playing God? No! If, I, if, I'm, if I'm mad, I won't be your pastor. Yeah? Praise the Lord. So, now that I'm saying, I have to play it. If I'm not talented, if I can't do that, I won't play it. As if I'm playing off beat, you say, ah, which kind of play is this one? The, the fact that I can play into beat, that's why I'm playing it. Amen? Praise the Lord. So, how many of us are going to come with tambourines? Um, with clefs? Don't raise up your hand and become a liar. So, <laughs> just come. Amen? And I pray God will help us in Jesus' name. Pray the Lord. Pray the King of Glory. So to do this, let's read Psalm 150. Psalm 150. What does it say? Then we'll, what does 150 says? Praise ye. What does it say? Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the sword tree and harp. Praise him with, uh, with timbrel or tambourine and dance. Praise him with string instrument. And all that. Praise him with, uh, upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high cymbals. Let everything do what? Praise the Lord. Amen. Of course, we give our offering to in accompaniment. Psalm 50 verse 14 says, Offer to God a sacrifice of what? Of thanksgiving. Psalm 50 verse 14. And perform your vows to the most high God. Amen. That would say we shouldn't appear before God. What? Empty handed. Well, you want to ask me, how will God call the fruit of our lips an offering? That is, it's an offering to him. It may not be an offering to you, but what? It's, it's something he relishes very well. God relishes praise. He dwells in praise. So, it's an offering to him. And whatever God calls something, that's what that thing is. Amen? He said, what you are saying to him, what? Is a, an offering, a sacrifice. Let's look at it from that way. And today, let us sacrifice to God the fruits of our lips. And I pray God will help us in Jesus' name. In conclusion, we say, God has, God has lowered the bar so that we all pass. He said, an offering is what? Our language, our words are praise. Kind of so he has lowered the bar so that we can do it very well and acceptable. Now, who will take advantage of it now and through this year? Take advantage of praising God as an offering. Remember, it has to be offered through our Lord Jesus Christ before it can become um, mutually beneficial. That is, it benefits you and it benefits God. We're unashamed. Let us constantly remind ourselves that, remind ourselves. That demands a sacrifice, a, a, a sacrifice that God is demanding something dear to him. And we should give it to him accordingly. And that that is affordable to us. This, of course, exclusive right of God's children. If you are not a child, a child of God, you can be one. Pray the Lord. Let's remind ourselves that this is dear to God. And let's give him sacrifice. So as you kneel down in your room, don't ask, 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 ask all the time. Make sure you divide your prayer into two. One part to worship him and to praise him. And I want another part to ask whatever you want to. Let's give God the sacrifice of our lips that is due to him. And to be mutually beneficial, it has to be done through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? So that God is blessed and you too, what? You are blessed. Shall we rise? So Father, we thank you. We bless you. Holy name, we give you glory. We pray, Jehovah God, that we shall offer to you today the sacrifice of praise, comprehensive, robust, to the glory of your name. 
Thank you because you are faithful. Glory be to your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just give him the glory. Say, Father, thank you. For I've seen another day today. And I bless your holy name. Thank you very much. Hallelujah. Thank you because you are faithful. Blessed be your name, Rock of Ages. Thank you for your faithfulness. You're worthy of our praise. Oh, hallelujah. Help me, oh God, to praise you this year. Help me, Lord, to honor you, to offer the sacrifice of praise. I receive the garment of praise today and forever. In the name of Jesus, you are happy the praise of your people. You call it sacrifice. As we offer praises, oh God, may we indeed offer sacrifices, robust, comprehensive one. We never take anything back from you, Lord. We worship you. We honor you. We exalt your name. Thank you, Eshadai God. You are worthy of our praise. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. If you are here, you want to give your life to Jesus. I pray that you just pray after me. Say, Lord Jesus, please save my soul. Write my name in the book of life. Forgive me all my sins. I renounce all unrighteousness. I commit my life into your hands. Please save my soul in the name of Jesus. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and with your power. Thank you for answer to our prayers. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Today, Lord, we receive garment of praise. Not just for today, but forever. We receive the grace to offer unto you the sacrifice of praise. The fruit of our, of our lips, now and forever. We will never deny you that which you desire from us. And as we do that, Lord, may that be mutually beneficial. We will be blessed by you, Lord. Thank you for your faithfulness. For in Jesus' name we have prayed.